and all is not well with the Bangladesh economy. The IMF said that Bangladesh's local currency, Taka, foreign reserves and economic growth are at a risk due to inflation and the global economic slowdown. Now, you are I watching Factbook Decoded Messages of Current Events. If you like our information, please subscribe the channel and press the like button. Thanks. IMF statement comes after its recently concluded visit to Bangladesh. In January this year, the South Asian country secured a $4.7 billion loan from IMF amid mounting economic trouble in the country. Bangladesh has received $476 million as the first instalment, with the second a part of the loan expected in the month of November. Bangladesh's reserves are expected to fall to $29.86 billion, which is the lowest in seven years, after import payments for two weeks. Next week, exports fell to 16.5% to $3.95 billion in April from a year earlier, as the orders from clothing retailers also slowed down. The inward remittances that helped the country's balance of payments also declined 16% year-on-year to $1.68 billion in the month of April. While Bangladesh recorded a decline in forex reserves, neighbouring India saw its import cover bloat to a 10-month high. India's foreign exchange reserves rose by $4.53 billion to $588.78 billion in the next week, which is ending April 28th. That clearly shows that India stands tall even as countries around them seem to be faltering, like Sri Lanka and Pakistan are the prime examples. And now, Bangladesh seems to be in trouble. Once touted as a strong emerging economy, Bangladesh has been struggling since the pandemic hit the global economy. Depleting foreign reserves due to a decline in exports meant that Bangladesh's current account deficit hit a record $18.7 billion in the last financial year, which ended on June 30th. The government has also raised fuel and energy prices in recent months as it approached the IMF. IMF and Bangladesh the International Monetary Fund has signed off on a $4.7 billion support loan package for Bangladesh to help it cope with soaring energy and food costs that have sparked huge protests. Rising inflation and deepening currency crisis hit Bangladesh. According to the Financial Express, March 13, inflation in Bangladesh resurged in February this year to 8.78%. In fact, inflation has been on the decline since September. 2022 until last month when it started to show an upward trend. Inflation indeed peaked 9.52% in August last year. The annual inflation rate is largely underpinned by rising prices of food and fuel. Surging food and fuel prices are eating into people's spending now. There are a number of factors behind the rising trend in inflation in Bangladesh. They include price rise of essential consumer items, in particular food and fuel, slow growth in agriculture, rise in the world prices of food items and sharp depreciation of taka against the US dollar. The recent inflationary surge has also been exacerbated by the Russia-Ukraine military conflict. Bangladesh is also having problems with the capital account resulting from a fall in FDI. In fact, during the FI 2021-22, Bangladesh registered a record current account deficit of 17 billion US dollars. This is despite traditional export boosting effect of a depreciating domestic currency, the TTA. In fact, a stronger US dollar dampens global trade flows as it remains the principal currency for global trade transactions. The Financial Express reports. The annual inflation rate in Bangladesh increased to 9.33% in March 2023, accelerating from 8.78% in the previous month. It was the highest reading since August 2022, prompted by higher food prices, 9.09% .09 versus 8.13% in February. On the other hand, costs eased slightly for non-food products, 9.72% versus 9.82%. On a monthly basis, consumer prices jumped 1.13%, the largest rise in six months. Source, Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics. Reports by, tradingeconomics.com slash Bangladesh slash inflation CPI factbook presentation. The 12th of May 2023.
You are watching Factbook decoded messages of current events. If you like our information, please subscribe the channel and press the like button. Thanks.